about almost 2 a.m. now and it still feels like it's 10 a.m. Hello. How are you doing? Hello, my friend. How are you? Yeah, nice to see you again. Yeah, and you, my friend. Again, this is my first time. We get some skewers of pig's intestine. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's been living in the Philippines for the last 10 years. And this place is proper popping off. All right, guys, welcome back to another video here. This time in the evening here in Melilla, I'm going to be showing you guys a bit of the nightlife here. And we are joined by some friends here in the Philippines. Well, firstly, we've got Dace, we have May, and we've got Lois, like Lois Lane, and we've got Maka. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to show you in this video what the nightlife is like here in Manila because one thing we know is that Filipino people know how to party and have a good time. So let's do this guys and get the video started. Welcome to the Philippines, a country that has been voted one of the friendliest countries in the world, a country in the southeast of Asia with a huge population of 113 million people, a country full of beautiful landscapes that are visited by millions around the world. The Philippines consists of over 7,640 islands of which 2,000 are inhabited. So we're starting off with some starters here and we've got some, uh, I think it's duck liver pate. Some, some type of pate, we've got some fresh bread as well. And uh, we're just enjoying an evening here with the guys on a rooftop here in the area of Pognacion, which is actually the area where all the nightlife happens here in the Philippines. And it's actually really, really gorgeous because we sat, as you can see, on the rooftop here with all the beautiful buildings right behind me, full of people. Guys, when you come to Manila, Philippines, there's a lot of pool bars just like this one. Rooftop bars, just like this where you get served up, nice drinks, and you have a rooftop view just like this, and a DJ and a backdrop just like that. Absolutely gorgeous. I did not expect to see this when I came to Philippines. I thought it was gonna be a bit more raw side. I wasn't aware that it's gonna have these type of places. So, so far tonight I'm blown away and I'm looking forward to seeing what else we're gonna explore here in this country and tonight in the nightlife in the Philippines. I've heard it's gonna absolutely pop up. Guys, we've also got Michael here. He is the manager here at- Who Dr. guys? Dr. Dr. Wine. <laughs> Super funky guy. Make sure when you come to Dr. Wine, you come and say hi to Michael and he will be sure to look after you. I will have a shot together. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you, bro. All right guys, after starting off here in uh, Dr. Wine, we're now gonna go for a bit of a crawl on the nightlife and see what else we're gonna find here on the strip. But so far, this place has been super cool and I highly recommend it. Thank you, take man. Care, man. Just take take care. Care. Good luck to France tonight for the football <laughs> yeah. game. Yeah. <laughs> So guys, there's two sides here of the nightlife and there's one, the more hectic hustle and bustle and also the one where you have all these beautiful kind of restaurants like this one and actually they're all apparently owned by the same owner here in uh, the Philippines. He apparently owns this whole strip. So, Mafel, what is this, uh, what's this strip famous for here then? As a local Filipino, can you tell us a little bit about this area? Well, this area, they have like bar use uh, bars yeah. uh, different, with different themes. So right now, uh, I think we can, we can go here. Okay. All right, guys, so we're now going to head into the next spot here in the nightlife vlog here in uh, Manila, and it's called Agamad. And apparently the word Agamad means charm in the Filipino language. Are you excited to go in there? Let's see. How would you think of the nightlife so far? It's very, very cool. People definitely like to party here, eh? Yeah, they love a night out. All right, guys, let's check this place out. We've got quite a cool entrance. Feels like we're going into like some type of club. <laughs> So guys, 
this is just one thing that you'll find here in Manila. Okay. Is they'll have a lot of live music places like this one. Great minds, great people, and also very loud music. Guys, as it's quieted down a little bit, I can actually give you guys a little bit of a vlog about this place. So it's one of the most famous bars here in the area that we're in, and it's called right, so Mega Man. Okay. Anyway, the music's about to start, so let me take you over. Yeah, Now heading upstairs into the Agamat club slash bar and honestly this place looks super super cool. What's up my friend? How are you? Good. You good? Wow, look at this place. We've walked into a club here. This is how people here in the Philippines party. I absolutely love it. Proper vibe. Guys, that was just a quick preview of what this place is like. Unfortunately, it's a bit too busy uh, for us to chill there tonight. So we're gonna hop over to the next bar and show you guys another dope place to check out here in Manila. Let's go. All right, guys, where are we going now? Let's walk towards there and let's take a look at the Bucaneers, probably, or... Bucaneers. Bucaneers, yeah. what's a Bucaneers? Bucaneers is also a bar. All right, let's do it, let's go. Yo! Alright guys, this area is honestly super super cool. If you're also wondering the safety element, so far it's been cool. Everyone here is just so so friendly. Haven't had that vibe, you know, the nighttime vibe where you go out and may feel a little bit uneasy or anything along those lines. Well, maybe I might be speaking too early, but let's see how the rest of the night goes and see what other crazy places we check out here. Okay. Right, so we've just walked into another bar, it's almost like a club, and this place is proper popping off. So as you can see here guys, there's literally so many different bars that you can go into in Pablacion area. And what I'm actually doing for you guys, I'm just going into a few different ones and just showing you the Filipino vibe and how people actually party and get down around here. And to be honest, I love it. Everyone's having a great time and the places are all super, super funky. And it's got people from all around the world. So absolutely loving it. And let me know in the comments guys, if you've been to any of the spots that I'm currently going into now. We've even got some uh, fresh, Food here being served by our brothers here. What's up, guys? Oh, this is. What have they got? Whoa! What is? What is that? Pigs? Wow! So, guys, they've got some like blood here. That's like the pig's blood, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, go for it, man. What are you saying? So here I am. Hi. Uh, I'm Liam. I'm Australian. Uh, so this is the pig's blood, pig's cubes, as it's called locally. Uh, then we get some skewers of pig's intestine. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're going to so eat them as well? We're, we're cooking them up too. Oh, nice. Yeah. Love that, man. Just part of it. Awesome. Well, nice to meet you, my friend. Nice what to meet you, name? too. Liam. Liam, nice to meet you. Yeah. So guys, for the drinkers out there, if you want to go cheap, they've got their own red horse drink here, which is a Filipino beer. It's actually 70 pesos per cup. Guys, what they were telling me around here a few months back, this whole area was literally completely dead. You could walk these streets and you can hear your own echo. But recently, everything has literally just sparked up again in the streets of Manila and the nightlife. And it's very early, they said, like 10 p.m. And it's literally all the bars are packed and we struggle to even get a seat here. So if you guys are coming and want to enjoy a good night here in the Manila nightlife, I highly recommend make sure you book a table wherever you go if it's in any of those spots because as you saw, they are very, very busy. So now we're going to go to the more old school area, which apparently is a bit more crazy. So guys, literally where we're walking through now is basically the apparently red light district area of uh, Manila. What's happening? Squad brother. What are you playing? Oh, who's, who's playing? Um, Poland. Poland, oh, they're beating KSA. 
no surprise. All right, guys, as you can imagine, this place is uh, absolutely going to be crazy. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hello. How are you doing? Hello, my friend. How are yeah, you? Nice to see you again. Yeah, and you, my friend. Again, this is my first time. Yeah. <laughs> yes, here, no <laughs> Wow. So, as you can imagine, guys, I've been uh, over in Thailand and it's got a kind of hectic vibe. And it kind of got that same kind of vibe of Phuket. So if you've ever been in Phuket and you know what I'm talking about, that's kind of what it's like on this specific strip. So guys, as I said, there are two different sides when it comes to the nightlife. There is this area specifically where you have all of that. And there's also the more modern side where it's a little bit more chill and you can have a drink and some food and just kind of relax. But if you're into the madness and having a crazy night out, maybe or this, yeah, or, or that one as well, then this strip is going to be for you. Apparently this spot here is uh, it's Greek, Argos. Apparently they got the best Greek food in town. Yes. This is the chef. This is the chef. What's your name? Chomel. Chomel. Nice to meet you, my friend. A good chef. Good to see you. So come and check Chomel out, guys. Maybe come grab a sandwich and uh, I'm sure he'll cook you up a store. All right, guys, we're now heading into another area here, which is called Lobo Filipino Tavern. Apparently, it's a nice place to chill, have a drink and some food to kind of wind down with the night. Let's check it out. Wow, quite cool. Got the music rolling. So the ladies have ordered their drinks and this is a traditional thing that the Filipinos do here in the Philippines on the weekend is finish off their night in a rooftop bar like this and uh, May, how are you enjoying the evening so far? It's really Chilled? hot, <laughs> <laughs> hot really hot, that's why we went for a beer So guys, is this a normal evening, is this a normal evening for you guys? For me it is, for her it is, in the city <laughs> Alright guys, so we've ordered some dishes now, some evening dishes. We have a mix of Filipino dishes as well as Mexican. We have some nachos and I don't know what they ordered, but they've ordered something that's a Filipino dish and we're looking forward to... Sisi? Sisi. Sisi. Sisi, okay. Well hopefully it's going to be nice. Alright guys, we've got Mo here and he's originally actually from Iran but he's been living in the Philippines for the last 10 years and he says he loves life there. I love it here. What do you love the most about the Philippines? The people, the people are so cool. No. They chill together on the table with different beliefs, different mindset and they chill together, they're happy together. They don't mind if whatever you are, if you're transgender, if you're male, female, Muslim, <laughs> Christian, they don't care man. They just have fun the way you are and I love it here. I love that man, I love that. Well, great to meet you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. This is a kima. They cook and saute. They put a tomato and onion. Wow, this yum yum. This is beef. This is a ground beef. Nice. And then, the way you, the way you go eat, you need to squeeze the calamansi. The calamansi, not the calamansi. Yes. Just like that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so guys, we've got our first dish, which is this minced beef with calamansi. Calamansi. I'm going to squeeze it now. It's very small. Small but strong. Yeah. Let's see if my squeezing game is strong. Oh, look at that. Yum, yum. <laughs> Sorry, now we've got all these bits. Shall I take them out? Yeah. yeah okay, but uh, we'll just uh, mix it and then take oh, it, it off. smells really good. That smell is incredible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, let's give uh, this taste test for this minced meat. Let's see how it smells so, so good. Let's try that. Mmm, wow. That is amazing. Guys, you gotta try this seasick. It's basically got like a peppery tomato infusion with the minced meat all together. It just tastes so, so good. Wow. This is probably my favorite dish so far here in the Philippines. Seasick. Second round. 
guys, the food is that good. We've ordered round two. Look at the sizzle on that. Ladies, you need to try this garlic sauce as well. All right, guys, and that brings the end of our last bit of supper here, should we say, evening crawl in this lovely restaurant, which is actually owned by Iranian people, which is very, very interesting. All right, guys, so it's about almost 2 a.m. now, and it still feels like it's 10 a.m. The streets are super lively. People are out, still enjoying themselves here in the streets of Manila. All right, guys, and I think that's going to bring the end to this video here in the nightlife of Manila. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace out and good night. <laughs>